friends, family, and an entire community are working together to uplift this family after their three-year-old daughter and her father were killed in a car crash. Wink News was at Bayshore Road when a man accused of driving under the influence crossed a paved median, then entered a lane going the opposite direction of traffic on the road and collided head-on with the car of Emmanuel and Emma Pula. The driver, the accused DUI driver, is 22-year-old Pedro Alvarado, and today Alvarado is sitting in jail on $300,000 bond. All new at 4, we are hearing from people who know the victims well. Wink News reporter Jolina Esperto joins us now live. Jolina, the rest of the family in that car was sent to the hospital that night. How are they doing today? Florida Highway Patrol told me the two children who survived, two-year-old EJ and eight-year-old Ava, are home from the hospital, but their mother, Francesca, is still in the hospital recovering from two broken legs. And of course, none of that compares to the loss of a father and a daughter. The North Fort Myers Civic Association is doing what it can to help. They collected presents for the little boy and girl to open on Christmas morning. Crash investigators say a drunk driver ripped apart this family, and while presents won't bring their dad back, Tony Hill with the Civic Association told me they might, just maybe, bring a smile to their faces. She and her husband jumped into action after I shared with them contact information for family and friends of those kids. When you called, I was just ecstatic that we could help. You know, it hopefully it just gives these kids just a few minutes of joy out of all of this sadness. Definitely, yeah. And it's still Christmas, and they need to know that it's okay to have a little bit of joy. And the North Fort Myers Civic Association also donated cash to the family, and people have been adding to this memorial site since the crash. And Wilkinson Landscaping, the company Manny worked for, also rallied support from homeowners in the neighborhood that Manny worked in frequently, and that's my story, new at 6. Live in North Fort Myers, Jolena Esperto, Wink News.